that you want, I could give you what you want. Usually it's just me messing around, and then like I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a melody that will turn into a loop. And once I find something that I think I wouldn't mind listening to for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, then I add drums. Either with a sample or just like me playing around on the, on the keyboard or whatever, but I don't know, it depends. Like, it's easiest for me to sample stuff and then just turn it into something completely different. But, uh, I don't know, if I start with the piano too, like, that works out just fine. And I got the munchies, I'm one of the dopest motherfuckers in the country. C A N A D A D N A, straight from. The lyrics come later. Like, often I make the beat and lyrics never come. And, like, I try to give the beat to somebody else or sell it or whatever, whatever. But, like, if I find that, like, if, like, I don't know, within half an hour I'm thinking of words to say, then I usually keep the song and I, I try to, you know, add on to whatever inspiration I find. Call me hun like a tiller. I got what you want. I can give you what you want. I ain't even got a front. I guess my personality just comes through my music, right? Like, I'm not that deep with the, the lyrics at all. Like, I just really want to entertain whoever's listening to it and make them want more. I ain't even got a front. I can give you what you want. What you want. Hustlers, misfits, debutants, schooners, dumpers. Just try to appeal to people. Like, if I'm standing in front of you. Are you gonna like it if I say this, or like, are you gonna? I do it for reaction. Flirt work with them double D's. I'm a moth to a flame, child to a dicky D. I used to more consciously try to impress people with what I was making, but now I just want people to enjoy it more. So it's more of more of an entertainment and an enjoyment factor. Uh, but I don't know. It's still authentic and it still reflects actual emotions and actual. Feelings. Yeah, I put a video out called Moves. That's my most recent one. That's like end of end of June, like in the World Cup season. And I'm really happy with that one. Directed by Manny Osmond. You should check that out. Check that out. Check that out. I got what you want. I could give you what you want. I ain't even got a front. I could give you what you want. Lately, I'm just making songs. Like I, I haven't. Like, I have so many unreleased songs, so much unreleased material that I could put out like three albums, but I want people to just process it all in due time. So I, I find that, you know, like when I put out, I put out like four products before. And uh, I find people will gravitate towards like four songs out of like 14 or whatever. I'd rather just put out singles for the time being and just let people take it in one at a time so that everything that I actually put out is received and like, uh, duly process rather than uh, you know you listen to the whole thing one time and then you find your three or four favorite songs and just listen to those i feel like all my music that i that i release is good so i just want people to take it in for what it is i'm going through some transitions i move on i get cold like the yukon my dad teaches african drumming djembe so i guess like just growing up around polyrhythms has let me, has let me uh, be able to just, just hear how things fit together. You know what I mean? Like a lot of my, if you listen to my music, a lot of my rhythms are irregular and not necessarily the the standard beats that you feel you're on the radio or whatever. Like either whether it's like a, a New York boom bap sound or like a southern sound. Like I just, I find that my stuff's a little bit irregular. With the kicks like a dojo, it's Mr. Oh no, looking for my Yoko. Oh no, I'll go go. Southern Ontario, I don't know man, it's where I grew up, so I guess you hear my slang, like I say what you saying, I have a song called what you saying, right? I know mad people around here that say that, like I didn't make that up, that's where I'm from. So like just in terms of the lyrics, uh, my whole demeanor, I'm, I mean, I'm an Ontarian, so like, yeah, you can hear that coming across my music. Okay, I handle my biz, so she's a fan of the kid, I swag with minimal effort, I'm a minimalist. I think I'm more similar to like mainstream rap, but like at the same time I'm still different just because like my beats are irregular. Like it's, it's most of it comes from most of the beats that you're gonna hear me on, I made them myself. So it's just it's just really authentic to myself. I'm in my own niche. My nickname Jumanji, cause you don't wanna play me. Most people just rap. Most people either just rap or just make beats. Um, it's more rare to find one who does both. It's also hard to like prioritize the time between making beats and rapping because like it, 
essentially you're being less efficient with your time. Like it, it's like the whole economics thing. Like sure you can you know do X, Y, and Z, but if you do X a lot and then you buy Y and Z, you're probably gonna have end up with more products in the end. So. To me, but don't nobody wanna see you. Man, really, it's really just impulsive. Like, I make, I started making beats before I wanted to rap, and then eventually, as an impulse, the lyrics would come, and I would just rap on it. Right? I actually first started rapping because nobody would rap on my beats because like they suck so bad. But I thought they were the dopest things ever. Right? I don't know if it's if it benefits me in terms of output. But like it just feels the best to me. I be sipping whatever I like for real, whatever I like. Yeah, where I be, I be gone. I'm just getting a life. Huh. It's victory the victor, but you could call me Mister. My style is zip is bliss. Your style is like a blister. I'm just a young flower rubber from the G. What these girlies wanna see, what these niggas wanna be, but what you saying?